Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another Classic Who reaction. Um, wow, great start. I'm blaming the heat, it is so flipping hot. I've got sunglasses on my head because I need my hair out my face. Um, I'm actually slightly sweating already. <laughs> so, apologies. Um, yeah, it's really hot. So, if you are new, my name is Mary Claire. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoy. I hope you stick around. And if you don't, then I'm sorry. Um, as per usual, all of my social medias are below. I do not know the name of this episode because I just wait for it to pop up on BritBox. Um, I think we're going to go to space. I think I said it at the end of my last reaction. I think we're going into space. I mean, I hope we're going into space. Because when's the last time the Doctor went into space? Was it when he um, ended up on that weird spaceship? That was ages ago. Right. Let's go. Hopefully into space. I said so. Ooh. Hey, look, a ship. That thing's on a ship. It's going to hit us. Pulling out of hyperspace now at 2213 727240. That was so cool. It vanished. It just vanished before collision. Present whereabouts unknown. It is going to be on your ship. Well, I'm never going in that thing again. Oh, come on, Joe, be reasonable. Only you could manage to have a traffic accident in space. Well, we didn't hit it, did we? Didn't we? Where's this then? Well, by a rather brilliant last minute course correction, I've managed to materialize the TARDIS inside the spaceship. Let's go and check the instruments. Oh no. Hmm, they're carrying bulk flour. What? They're carrying a cargo of bulk flour. Doctor? Well, I think I know where we are. I've got a pretty good idea about when. Come and take a look at this. Look at what? Well, it's just a spaceship, Joe. Now, I reckon we must be somewhere in the 26th century. Come on, Joe. Let's go and find the crew. I want to find the exact date for my calculations. Mm. Doctor! It's coming straight at us! What? You wouldn't believe this. Now what? Maybe it's a wreck. Try and make contact. They may need help. This is Earth cargo ship C982 in close proximity to you. Do you read me? Do you read me? This close to Earth? They're going to attack us. Get the blasters. You can't take on a battle cruiser. Get the blasters. Well, otherwise, they'd have to get all kitted up into a space walk. Fascinating, but let's get back to the toys. <laughs> look, Joe, don't worry. We'll be on our way soon. Now, let's go and take a look at the ship's calendar. This is Earth cargo ship C982. So just sound makes you see the worst nightmare. Draconian battle cruiser is now about to grapple. Draconian Ooh. battle cruiser has now locked on. They are about to force entry. Repeat. They are about to force entry. Of all these charges, are false, Your Highness. 
We are not attacking draconian ships. We never have. Our soldiers have seen the Earthmen attack us. And they're sitting on a powder keg. Yes, but why do they mistake us for these dragons? No, draconians. The dragons is rather an unflattering nickname. Well, you remember that sound that you heard? Yes. And the man that you saw with the gun? Oh, no. No, no, what I saw was a drashing. No, you didn't, Joe. That sound made you see what you fear most. How? Well, it shouldn't be too difficult. Ultrasonics geared to stimulate the fear centers of the brain, something like that. How long does it last? How long before they see that we're just people? Well, difficult to say. Allowance will be increased to two children per couple. News is just coming through of another draconian attack on an Earth cargo ship in space. This is the third attack on an Earth cargo ship this month. In a statement issued by the Draconian Embassy on Earth, the Draconian government denies all knowledge of this or any other attacks. As yet, there has been no official comment. But... the polarity of my ultrasonic screwdriver's power source well, by converting it into an extremely powerful electromagnet. Oh, what will that do? You wait and see, Joe. Uh -huh. Is it working? Yes, it it on. I'm going to get the prisoners. There you are. That's it. Oh, how very embarrassing. Good afternoon. Out. That's just where we were going. With <laughs> your friends. The friends now are shooting and get you first. But they're not our friends. You are part of their boarding party. Well, they haven't boarded yet. They're still breaking through that door. Now try and be logical, man. Yeah. They're coming through. Oh, That's the time is too back. There have been anti-draconian riots in Tokyo and Belgrade. And the draconian consulate in Helsinki has been burnt to the ground. In Los Angeles, demonstrators burnt an effigy of you. Yes? They have just found the cargo ship, Madam President, but it is not responding to signals. And the draconians? There is no sign of any draconian ship, sir. I thought we were going to have a surprise regeneration or something. To it than that. Battle cruiser to Earth cargo ship number C982. We are now approaching you. Do you read me? Look after them, will you? Do you read me? Uh, 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 cargo ship number C982. We are now approaching you. Do you read me? Right now. Are they draconians? They're boarding. Do it. Who are you? Passengers. I see. Having a fancy dress party. Huh. What happened? The dragons attacked us. Did they get the cargo? I don't know. Yes, they took everything. It's including some rather valuable property of mine. Well, tough luck. You say you're passengers. Isn't that a little unusual on a cargo ship? Well, we're here, aren't we? Where did you pick these two up? I don't know. I can't seem to... Well, let's look together. How did they get on board? Stowaways. That's it. They were stowaways. They were sending messages. That's right. They were helping the dragons. The traitors. Some people are so quick to jump to conclusions, aren't they? I mean, come on. Okay, so I said in the last story, I thought we were going to see the Ogrons then, and now we've got them a bit. So they're doing the dirty work for 
another species? Is that other species the draconians? Hmm. I mean, it could be the Daleks. It could be the Daleks. It could be the Cybermen. It could be. It could be anyone. I loved that. That was really good. Really good. Um, I'm pretty sure someone said that this is a six-parter. Um, which. feel like there's going to be I mean I feel like it's going to be needed because now that they think the Doctor and Joe are stowaways and they're on the other side now then they're going to be taken back to their planet and blah 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 then they've still got to get the TARDIS and blah 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 so I can understand why it's um I can understand why it's six parts I will hold judgment but we all know my opinion on six parts I'm so happy we are in space I love the sets. I feel like the sets so far in season 10 have been amazing. Um, I did for a second worry slightly about the third Doctor. I thought he was going to go. I also had another Doctor Who dream last night that someone told me that the third Doctor regenerates at the end of season 10. And that's because I filmed, uh, I filmed yesterday and I said, oh, I think... This will be Pertwee's last season. So then I had a dream about it. So I guess now that it's kind of on my mind that I suspect this is his last season. Um, I'm going to be a lot more wary about his injuries and stuff. I do think this is his last season. It's just my gut. Yeah. Again. Don't tell me. I'm just putting it out there. Right. Let's leave it there. I hope you are all enjoying this wonderfully sunny day. I know when this goes out, it will be like Wednesday or something. But still, I hope you're having a lovely day. And I will be back. Sunday. I'll be back soon with another reaction. Bye.